Good afternoon. Can I have your resume? Yes. What is your name? My name is Muhammad Ahmad Hussain, sir. Okay, Ahmad. Can you introduce yourself? Thank you, sir, for giving this opportunity. My name is Muhammad Ahmad Hussain. I am recently graduated from Biltech in CSC from Vagishwari College of Engineering, Karimnagar. In during my academic journey, I have I have developed a foundation on computer science subjects like Code Java, HTML, CSS, MySQL, and etc. All the in last in my during my last year, I have done two projects. One is Spotify clone, and another based on a artificial intelligence. In Spotify clone, we have developed the exact layout of the Spotify app in website type. In in AI, we have developed. The a, a, this is in if this is predicting one website using CNN algorithm. My hobbies are playing cricket and watching technology videos. Okay, okay, Ahmad, can you explain about your Spotify project? Yes, sir, in, we have developed Spotify clone. We using HTML and CSS. In that uh, HTML user for uh, HTML user for the structure and the CSS user for styling. Exactly, we have created exactly the Spotify website left for you front end layout. Sir. Okay, just you designed that front end layout. Front end just it is it is looking like a same like a Spotify. Spotify apps. Okay, how much how much you can rate yourself in .NET out of five? Five sir. Okay, five in C sharp. Okay, so you are very good in CSharp. Yes. Okay, can you explain what is CLR? CLR is a common language runtime. It is an execution engine for all .NET applications. Okay, so can you explain about the execution process? How we are executing our programs? Yes, sir. executing the source code is converting to the MSL code with the help of language compiler. Then MSL code converting to to the JIT, JIT com, with the help of native code, with the help of JIT compiler, the MSL code convert to the native code. Sir. Okay, fine. So, what is the JIT compiler? JIT compiler, just a term compiler which convert the Microsoft Intermediate Language to the native code. Sir. Okay, so what are the futures of uh, C sharp? C sharp futures are uh, the easy compatibility, sir, maintenance, low, it high performance. Sir. Security portable language is a portable and efficient language. Okay, so explain me. So, what are the data types we are using in the future? Primitive data types and uh, primitive data types int, float, char, bool, double, sir. Okay, and other uh, the, the secondary data types, sir. The array strings. Uh, Okay. Can you explain what is the implicit type casting and explicit type casting? Implicit type casting is converting the larger data type into smaller data types, sir. It is done automatically. No data loss will occur in explicit type casting. The converting of smaller data type to larger data larger data type to smaller data type. In this we have to done manually and data loss will occur. Sir. Okay. Can you explain what are the principles of OOPs? Principles of OOPs are inheritance, encapsulation, abstraction, and polymorphism. Sir. Okay, fine. So, what is inheritance? We can acquire the one class property. We can inherit the one class property to another class. Example, parent class, we can inherit parent class property to child class property. Okay, what are the types of the inheritance here? Single level inheritance, multi level inheritance, in hierarchical inheritance, hybrid inheritance, multiple inheritance. Okay, so what is a constructor? Constructor is called invoking the invoking this non static X members. Non -static. Okay, construct, with the help of a constructor, we can able to invoke the non static non members. members. Right. So, what is a object? Object is an instance of class where we, we allocate the memory after creating the object to after creating object to user, we allocate the memory to a class. Okay. 
So what is the difference between static variables and the non-static variables? Static variable declare, declare inside a class, outside any method, it is used with static keyword, non-static variable declare within a class, outside of method, without using, we can declare without using static keyword. When static keyword has only one copy in, in the throughout program, Sta non-static keyword have each, each different copies for all instances of a class. Okay. So what is an array? Array is a collection of homogeneous elements. Sir. So what uh, so what are the types of the arrays here? M multidimensional array, jagged array. Okay. So what is the purpose of the main method? Execution, sir. We can the execution starts from main method only. Okay. So what is method already? We can construct different. We can construct different uh, same method name with different parameters. Sir. We can develop the same method name to different parameters. Okay. So what is the this keyword purpose? This keyword purpose is used to invoke invoke the construct. This keyword is used to invoke the Current class constructor, sir. Current class instance. This keyword is used to invoke the current class instance, sir. Okay. What are the access modifiers we have? Private, public, internal, private, protected, private, internal, protected, internal. Okay. So, what is constructor already? We can construct a different constructor with same name, different parameters. Okay, can you explain the syntax for the constructor already? Okay, you want to write it? Yes. Class constructor, sir. We have the constructor name same as the class name, sir. This is body of the constructor. Okay, constructor name should be same like same a same as the class name. Class name. Okay, for public class. Here we can give the parameter one int array. Here also we can construct the same okay. and give parameter is different. So string okay. Right now you are writing the man. constructor already. Constructor already. Right? Okay, sir. That is fine. Okay, Arman, can you write uh, Fibonacci series program? Yes, sir. Logic, yeah, just you can write the logic. Okay, Amad, what is a string? Okay. So, explain the what is the purpose of the for loop? For loop, sir, when we know iterations in advance, we use the for loop, sir. For loop is first initialization, then checking the condition, then update the value. So, what is the difference between for loop and while loop? When we know iteration in advance, we go to for loop. When we don't know no, iterations in advance, we go to while loop. So in this for loop, we in one statement we only we do initialization, condition checking, and updation. So in while loop, first we initialize and then condition check the updation. In the body of the loop, we do updation. Okay, Ahmad, that's all about it. Okay, Ahmad. Thank you. Sir.